Hello and welcome to the latest episode on the Power On channel and my apologies for the rather frenetic start to this video. What you're seeing here is my 3D printer which I've had now for, I don't know, about six months and I've been having lots of fun printing PLA parts and what have you. I want to get on to doing a few more exotic materials, um, a little bit of uh, ABS and also some nylon. Now apparently nylon particularly is um, susceptible to warpage and so I need to take some more care in terms of the environment inside the printer. Um, so I've decided to get an enclosure. Um, I went to the Core Electronics website where I originally bought the Lawspot Mini Printer from. And indeed they sell an enclosure by Printed uh, Solid. Now Printed Solid have their own website. If I can just go across and have a look at that. And this, um, you're probably, if you're not located in Australia of course, um, this has got the American uh, pricing, uh, 157 US dollars I see there. And indeed before I got the uh, item delivered, I uh, printed out the parts uh, required for the assembly. Here we have the four parts required. There are indeed actually two left and two right hand prints. They are very similar but they are indeed different. If we now sort of fast forward to when I got the uh, package, the package came from Core Electronics well parceled up, set of nuts and screws and a good um, instruction sheet with photographs and text inside the corrugated um, cardboard we've got a number of acrylic sheets the acrylic sheets are all taped together and still had their backing on the front and the back uh, now this stuff it takes a while to take off and everybody's got their own technique you can either do the uh, peel fast or peel slow uh, I think there are proponents for either um, but yeah, it takes a little while to take all these items uh, apart and, and get them ready for assembly. So I disconnected the printer from its usual location and popped it into the middle of the garage floor so I could work on it. Um, there are obviously parts that go all the way around. The first task is to fit the brackets that I printed out. Um, you have to remove a couple of the screws, uh, I think they're M3 screws. Um, which hold the corners together and I did these um, one by one. I don't want the printer to be twisted and out of skew even though it does have a, a self-aligning feature every time a print uh, happens. I don't really want the sheet metal to go out of skew so I did these one by one. And then yes you fit the uh, four corners. A, uh, the longer screws are provided in the plastic bag of parts so it's a very simple thing just to pop those two things in tighten them up obviously don't tighten those screws up too much we're only talking about plastic parts here you just give them a quick nip and once you've done one of them then it's a fairly simple thing to just move on and I'll just speed the video up at this point and just show you the uh, other four quadrants really, two at the front as you can see going in here and then two at the rear and the final one just going in here now And so then we uh, we can move on to some of the acrylic sheets. Now all the acrylic sheets um, come with a number. I'm just pointing to one here. So they are all marked up. And that number um, matches up obviously with the instructions, the paper instructions. Yeah, I'm not too sure whether my technique, it's just a, in between doing it fast and doing it slow. Anyway, let's uh, just speed things up because, uh, yeah, that's worse than wait, uh, watching paint dry, isn't it? So what you're looking at here is, is the first top piece, following the instructions as every good engineer should do, ha ha. And the acrylic sheets are either held together um, by these rather small sort of peg and screw arrangements. They're a little bit fiddly as you'll see in a minute. Yeah, it takes a little bit of technique, um, yeah, which I probably don't have a great deal of, but uh, yeah, by holding the nut in the slot and then 
quickly getting a couple of threads on with the uh, Allen key in the other hand. A little bit fiddly, but um, you get the hang of it after a while. And so you see, see here, this, the, the top is actually tied to a, a, a side section. This side section's actually got a little um, vent there for a fan, if you want to fit a fan to the later date. It then actually, actually attaches to a couple of holes in the side of the frame which are existing. The other side, quite similar, obviously it's just one long single piece. Two nuts go into the two holes and the four pegs obviously hold the acrylic sheets together. Now the two slots at the bottom here are a bit of a pain. The included washers weren't satisfactory so I added a, what I would call a mudguard washer, a washer with a small hole and a large flange. And that was enough to bridge between the plastic and the metal frame. The, the, the included washers just, just weren't big enough. So um, hopefully you've got something in, in your toolkit at home which uh, can hold that in place a little bit better. Now moving on to the front and the rear. The front and the rear are identical, I think. Um, four sides, same sort of construction. Then the top goes on position, in position rather, the uh, logo, uh, the printed solid logo in the what will be the bottom uh, right hand corner. And yeah, by the end of this little assembly project, uh, I was getting reasonably proficient in slipping the M3 nut into the slot, dropping the M3 bolt on top and quickly nipping it up with the Allen key. I will reiterate here, yeah, don't try and over tighten that M3 bolt or you're going to crack the acrylic. Just be uh, very careful and just, just nip it up. Finally then, uh, all we have to do is drop the front and rear cover in position. There are no hinges to this, it's just simply dropped in position, which I, it's fine, it's quite simple. The final piece in the jigsaw is the top piece, which just has a slot for the filament to uh, go through. And yeah, it's best if it's the right way around. So there you have it, a new enclosure for my little spot mini. Hopefully it keeps nice and toasty and stops all those warping parts. Thanks for watching. Ta-ta for now.